Ah. Don't worry, I'm not doing that shit again. I want you to show me how to get to know. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and uh, yeah, don't worry, you don't need to see any of that cringy shit again. I'm not going to do that again, don't worry about that, but um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. If um, you didn't realise I was gone for a couple of weeks, um, my PC decided to die on me, but I finally have it working and fixed now, so we won't need to worry about it uh, crashing or anything. Um, but basically we were doing the 30 day logo challenge and we were on day 2 and I started recording like my sketch and stuff like that and then my computer started blue screen so I already have sort of the sketches but I'm gonna already I'm gonna sort of you know read out the brief and stuff for you to see so yeah let's get into it okay so we got the brief from Edgar Martin he says hi there we're a small coffee shop coffee shop coffee shop chain located in Seattle uh, Washington with five other locations our current logo uh, is just text using the default font but it's time for an update the grind prides itself on natural local ingredients for our new logo, logo we do not want to use any browns so many coffee shops around here use brown and we like to stand out maybe oranges greens or other earth tones etc could work well the logo will be used in the store sign menus and coffee cups with merchandise. The grain logo could be text based or have an icon. We're open to either both. Uh, we're open using symbols that represent coffee such as coffee bean, plant, grounds, coffee cup etc. I'm attaching a few examples of logos we really dig for some inspiration. We like, we like a somewhat clean look. Thanks Edgar Martin, the grain coffee shop. So these are the sort of um, images he's got here that he's... So we've got coffee shop Handmade brown tea and coffee shop and coffee nerd. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the sketches that I've produced. Okay, so um, let's start off with my. Wait, I forgot to say as well that with these logo challenges, I'm going to try and challenge myself to do them in about an hour and an hour and a half. I'm not going to give myself too much time. Um, I just want to sort of use this as a sort of warm up and brain exercise for creating logos and to add stuff to my folio so yeah sort of you can see the sort of rough idea I wanted to go with with having a cup and um, maybe a downward view from the top um, of the cup then I also thought about um, a takeaway cup I thought that'd be a good idea and that's when it hit me that I could maybe design um, the letter uh, G or any other layer um, in the takeaway cup, but I also tried different things, but like maybe your coffee beans, um, the the grind, uh, not grind, the filter, or the grinder filter, whatever it's called, and also sort of like a generic sort of stamp um, look as well. And then I don't know what that is. I was trying to sort of create the G out of a cup, uh, but it sort of didn't really work. So. Um, I basically I uh, sort of took the ones I sort of liked and dotted them and uh, started to sort of create a bit more neater and bigger versions just to see what they would look like and um, yeah after having a look and a, a nice think through I uh, take this one because this is the one I wanted to go into the final which this uh, will be the final logo I sort of went for a colour scheme because they said they liked um, colours that stand out such as maybe oranges, greens or other earth tones so yeah I thought maybe um, green and blue sort of green and blue? my colour blank? no green and orange I thought maybe would work pretty well so um, yeah I guess I'm gonna sort of get into the process of designing the logo and sort of trying out different positions and colours possibly so yeah enjoy
almost found 